The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Ipamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe starts with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, France are the holders. Not too many people doubted them coming into the tournament. And quite frankly, they've rubber-stamped their credentials. So watertight at the back, fluent in midfield, fearsome in attack. Can they be stopped? I'm not sure they can, Derek. I think they've been outstanding. They've done everything we expected them to. Some of their midfield performances have been excellent. And they've got goal scorers in the attacking areas. So I can see them winning the second World Cup on the bounce. And they're a very, very good team. France should win this one. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway. We conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Oh, good play this. And he might be through here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Now, how about the short corner? A smart stop here. Well, there to intercept. Olivier Giroud. Can he find the right pass? Giroud. Can he finish this? And up for grabs off the keeper. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with. But where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Goal. 
So 2-0 now. Teo Hernandez. This is Varan. Kunde. Now with Upamecano. Teo Hernandez. And he did well to cut it out. Rabio. Teo Hernandez now. And Portugal will get the throw in. Well, pressing really high. And possession given away. Tempele. It's with Ruben Neves. Bernardo Silva. Now, who can he play it to? Fernandes. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Giroud. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. A concession of a corner here. Elects to go short. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Delivering it. I couldn't get it past that first defender. Could reduce the deficit. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. They're really pressing their opponents. And a failure to keep the ball on Portugal's part. Kunde. Chouameni. Mbappe. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. And the substitution will occur now. Mbappe. Now Giroud. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Oh, goalkeeper blunder. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. <laughs> Whipped in by Griezmann. And really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Radio. Well, they couldn't keep it. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what could he put? And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff.
Who can they pick out? They must clear their lines quickly. Dallo. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Teo Hernandez. A real opening now. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Still not clear. And a shot from some way out. Well, in the grand scheme of things, pretty straightforward for the keeper. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Bernardo Silva. And a tidy challenge. Space on the flank. Really nice ball. Tempele. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And back underway, there can be no denying it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Portugal in the second? Fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. And there's the delivery. Is he able to dispatch it? Brilliantly blocked. Good pressure high up the pitch. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Now, how about the short corner? There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, and let's see, can Portugal find another one? Well, far from the ideal pass. Good pressure high up the pitch. A good and fair challenge. This attack looks highly promising. Can they cover up? And in the end, no damage done. Teo Hernandez. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. And they stopped them in their tracks. Kunde, Shuameni, 30 minutes left for play, Mbappe, 
across towards Olivier Giroud, who's waiting at the back post. And he could be in proper trouble here. And not quite accurate enough. Off to the post. And it's going to be a goal kick here. Ruben Neves. The ball with Pepe. Silva. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! It's still alive. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? And given away. How can he take them on and beat them? Able to get a body in the way. Well, an opportunity from the corner for Portugal to get right back into this match. Playing it short. Oh, surely! Well, you might say he was unlucky. Denied by the post. Goal kick. What a yellow card is the decision. Difficult one for the referee, Stuart. Yeah, but like the referee, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But it's a big call, mind you. Twenty minutes remaining. Ronaldo! The save was a good one. And over comes the corner. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. I'm trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the main thing is to thump it away. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. Strong but fair tackle. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Big chance to get them on terms. Vigorous defending. What a vital intervention. And so it will be a corner. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? <laughs> Playing it in. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Another chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. <laughs> Taken short. of the post and it's going to be a goal kick here well what a dramatic finish how close was that 
they should be able to hold on now with not much longer left. Losing possession a bit easily. Mbappe. Oh, what an opportunity. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. France, number 10, Kylian Mbappé. Good work from Portugal to win back possession. A danger here as he runs at them. Just made sure nothing came of that. Denied again. Good pull one back here. But no! What a glorious opportunity squandered to get back into this. Well, that had to go in, didn't it? I just can't see them turning this around now. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Rafael Varan. Now Rabio. Chouameni. Jules Kunde on the ball. He's in with a chance. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Goal! And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them.